Hi guys, so I'm really excited today. I just got in actually a few different things. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I don't know where to start. So I got in some Spellbinders uh, order. And what's funny is I guess I didn't look far enough into my email on Spellbinders because I heard from a lot of you guys that you order things in April, April 1st even, April 20 something, and you still haven't got it or any kind of saying anything, right, about it. Um, they are based in Arizona, I believe. Is that right? Let me see. I think so. And... Um, so I know, you know, I don't know what their governor out there is doing, opening or not opening or those kind of things, you know, how things are right now. Um, I wish people would stay home and, you know, stay safe. I understand people want to get out, but, and need their livelihoods back, right? But at the same time you open up places people aren't going to go, it's the same thing. But anyway, let's just uh, focus on what we have here. Um, it's actually just my club kit that came in. So I joined their club. I, I guess since it's still May, they go ahead and send it out within like a day or two. So I guess that's easy for them to do because it's already packaged up. They just, you know, slap a label on it. Let's go. But my order order that I placed with them um, is not going out. It's still uh, processing. So, uh, so I guess I'm in the same boat with everybody else. I was just like, oh, yeah, awesome. You know, I got a, an email saying that it shipped. It was only the craft part that shipped. But they give me my points for everything. So that was good, I guess, even though it hasn't shipped. I don't know. Uh, they do club points or online. Just, there's all kinds of things on Spellbinders. So if you want to check out Spellbinders.com, uh, I believe is the website. And you'll see some really nice things there. Um, I got in my AI order, which is Art Impressions, which, again, I've only ever heard of them whenever I used to go to the expos. Um, and then they started coming to, like, Michael's here and there. There's, like, a little set, maybe two sets or three sets. Not, like, a whole set of or a whole area of, okay, Art Impressions, you know, just a few. HSN started carrying some of their things here and there. Um... But really, they're, you know, stick to their expos and I guess online. And it's funny because my package came in and it's not any kind of special box, like anything like that. I, you know, it's just what it is. It's in a priority mail uh, package, which is normally what I use to send things out just like this. So that was interesting. So this is my order. My order was not inexpensive. Again, back to uh, red rubber stamps or rubber stamps or boutique stamps. They are not inexpensive, but they... Um, I would say what you're paying for is the design and the genius of it or whatever it is or just how cute it is. You know, it depends. Unity Stamp Company, I love their stamps and it's just they have really pretty stamps. They're cling, again, red rubber stamps on cling foam. So, you know, if you're going to get into this world, you're going to know that some are more expensive than others and that's just kind of how it is with that. Um, so what I show you, I did get a coupon again. I believe it's GLMM2020. You can use it one time for 20% off your order. That's not anything particular to me. It was just something I came across when I was looking at the Great Lakes um, meat, make, make and meat uh, expo stuff, right? And then I also got in a really nice size box from Melissa Francis. So I thank her so much for saying the items for review. And I will get to that very soon. Um, yeah, I, I'll probably unbox it to show you guys everything because what happens is people will want to buy stuff and then they're going to buy this and then they're going to buy that when I show it and they're going to buy that when I show it. So I want to show you everything and if you think it's something that interests you, you might as well just pick it up at once, right? Or at least mostly at once. So let's get to our impressions. So what happens with this company is they have really, really cute stamps and it, again at the expos they'll show you a little something and it's like four or five little stamps and it looks amazing and you're like wow you know and that's how you know they sell the stuff because you're seeing it in real time and it's really cute or you might do a make and take with them you know for maybe free or a couple bucks i mean it depends everybody does theirs differently at these expos but um so that's what it is but let's see here so it's like watercolor stamps and they have regular stamps and they have fun stamps and dies that do fun things like on cards and stuff like that. So um, everything's just kind of mixed in here. So I'm just going to start going through its little pile of things here. It looks so cute um, and see what we have. So this is the watercolor winter swing with cat bundle package. Very really cute. They are currently, I believe, on sale on their site. Um, of course, you can check all these different things. Um, this has the branches set, the mini critter set, the swing set, and then it says optional you might need the foliage set 2 new, foliage set 4, and it has numbers there. So, again, these are cut. Um, I, I want to play with these right now too, so I don't know how long this video is going to be. But, well, not this particular set because this is way further than what I know how to do, but um, I'm going to try something basic. Okay, so this is one of their sets that has three different sets in there, stamp sets, and you can pick them up individually too. You don't have to buy the bundles. Let me show you the other bundle. So we're done with that part. 
which is this um, Art Impressions. Uh, again, it says unmounted uh, repositional cling cushion. So this one is called the Water 520 5231. Sorry, watercolor starter bundle. Now this is the the kind of thing that you would first pick up. So they used to sell their little stamps on wood blocks, and it was these tiny little wood blocks. And I probably have some of these. I have not really dedicated my time to look for them. I was telling a gal I know after an expo I had probably bought a few because I always want to support you know companies and get something. And it, they were in a paper bag and I can see them in my head and I'm like, where did I put that little paper bag? And this would have been years ago, but I, you know, I pretty much when I move one house to another, it's the same stuff travels around. So I'll find it. But this is the one I kind of want to try out today. So hopefully we can get to it and we'll talk about it more when we get there. But really cute on, you know, some inspiration here for you guys. And to be honest, it gives me a little pit in my stomach because I'm like, hey, what if it doesn't come out the way I want? But you know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We're going to jump in. So I have these brads because they go along with something else I'll show you in a minute. So this is, like I said, they have some fun cards and things like this is called the trifolds and this is so cute. I didn't know how big they were going to be or not. So a lot of times on their site, they'll have a, a product and down at the bottom of the page, it'll have a video and the video may be particular to that product or it may be about that type of product. So I think they had a video for this possibly that went to like one of the expos and they, you know, these are new items and they kind of showed the cards that go with them. So this is called Celebrate Spring MTF, instructions and dies included. So it has the stamps and dies. Of course, I will review all this stuff guys. So, um, you know, we'll get there when we get there. Um, so now I'm just going away from, okay, let me try to do this a little more organized. Okay, so these are also some of their watercolor, AI watercolor line. It's the Garden Wagon Mini Set. So I did pick up a few things that might be like little extras that I thought I would like. I think they have a kit with these things plus a tractor. And I'm like, hey, I really don't think I'd be doing a card with a tractor. So I went ahead and just bought these separately. It might have been a better deal though if I bought them in a bundle, but that's okay. Uh, so this one's called Flower Cart. 4703 Flower Cart, 4875 Garden Look how cute. And they're they're small, guys. They're small. They're for, you know, a card. They're really cute and really small. Let me see if I have any other watercolors. If one pops up, it'll just be later, but I don't see any right now. So this is another trifold. This one's called uh, Hello Friend. And basically the point of these is the card is a trifold. So when you open it up, it has different little layers. So as you peel away one layer, you have still a little kind of... Um, imagery like a little scene right so I just thought these were adorable you can mix them and match them why this one's like this and this one's a little bit bigger but anyway <laughs> that's just how they are um do I have another trifold let me try and see if I can find things yeah I thought I had one more this one is the um winter window mtf number 4929 so again this one has maybe a better imagery of what i'm trying to talk about so i will review these kind of like all together i pick one basically they all do the same kind of thing um these are pop cards and these are interesting because uh what happens is you open it up it kind of opens out and then the little layers that you have here and this these are on sale right now all the dies for all the shapes that are in here are in this kit. So it's a really great value, uh, really cute. I will definitely review these for you guys. This is the uh, Tea Party. I also got Kit and Vanity because I thought that was too adorable. Again, all the stamps and dies. And then uh, Floral Birdhouse. Um, so with these, it shows you on there, you need this little tool right here. It's a little template. It's like four or five bucks, you guys. Um, and it's a metal, obviously, die. So you set this thing up and then you put these on these pieces on it. So if you were to order them, you definitely want to pick up this little pop cards piece, uh, 4862 pop card template. Okay. And what is this? Oh, okay. This one was on kind of clearance, I guess, create four unique critter cups. And it has these little things to make these little critter cups. And it's just to hold like little treats. They had really cute ideas on their website with them. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, let me grab these that are all kind of similar. These are called Flutters, and I showed you guys this when I went and talked about their, their website. Um, they have like little pull tabs, or you make a little pull tab, and then the Santa Claus arms and legs kind of move like up and down. Super cute. The little dog tails wag, which is adorable. Um, and then it has little send, you know, happy tails to you. The other one says, get your jingle on. Oh, that'd be cute if you put little bells somewhere on there. And then let's all pause to celebrate with pause with the W, obviously, with the cats. And... You know, I consider I probably should have just got one or two of those because I've never used them before, but those were really cute, so I went ahead and got all of them. 
Oh, did I? Oh my gosh, this is so funny. I was debating getting this again. I didn't realize I had already ordered because I have some other things in my cart right now for the next time. <laughs> and this was one of them. So I will take it out of the cart because I guess in my mind I hadn't ordered it. Um, these are gingerbread cubbies and then autumn owl cubbies. And they're just too cute. It's a big, well, almost as big as my hand. So it's basically for your card front, like an A2 size. I mean, you can decorate however you want. But, um, and it has the little dies and everything for all the little images that you see here and then to, for the little windows and doors. So um, I know I did an LDRS set kind of similar. That was really cute. So um, gingerbread men, I am a sucker for. Oh, I got the brads for these guys, the flutter ones. I remember her saying that these came with a brad. Yeah, there's some brads in there. So there are a few brads already in the pack for you to start off with. They're just really, really tiny mini brads super small so they have them in white or silver i got those in white um oh cute okay so i think with that well first of all i don't know with the code i was supposed to have gotten something and i it said like some i don't know what but these both say freebie dolphin freebie crab so they sent me two free ones 2020 limited edition stamps that are really cute little crab and little dolphin so that's really sweet fun to have this I had to try out, the new 3D frame die. Basically it makes a frame for a card, like your whole card has this frame shape and they have different sizes. This one has an opening of two and five eighths inch by three and three quarters. I don't know what the size will be on the outside. So for use with tabletop die cutting machines, of course, and perfect for your windows to the world stamps or watercolor projects, which would be really cute if you do your little watercolor and then you put that in there. So you frame your little artwork, adorable. So that's 4887, but like I said, they have different sizes. I just want to try one of them out. Um, what is this? Oh, this is a little jiggle mini shakers. That's <laughs> what they call it. So basically as you use them, it comes with mini wobbles and now I would have to buy more of these wobbles, which I thought I threw on the cart, but I guess I didn't or in there. Um, basically as you shake the card, these little guys, and for this particular one, these two guys will wobble. So I thought that was really cute. And I didn't have anything in here that was Halloween-y, so I went and picked that up. And easel card die. So, um, Again, you just use this in your dies. I will review all these things for you guys, so we'll see how that goes. And the last thing I did pick up, and then, you know, I got their new um, catalog. And I usually see a lot of uh, expos when you go, they do have catalogs or, you know, something like that. So this was basically 10 bucks. I think the discount still came off of it. And then they immediately give you a $10 um, coupon. Like as soon as you order it, it goes to your email or it's in your account. So um, basically it's free. You just get a $10 credit to the store. And what I like it is so I can come back and kind of look like I did get the little cats, you know, with the um, swings and like, okay, you know, I want to come back and have an idea of like a, how to use it or at least some colorways or something like that. So, you know, it's just something to have um, just to kind of look at and go through there. Really cute stuff. And then, you know, know that I need all these things or maybe mark them off as I get them or however, but uh, really fun. So just wanted to pick that up. All right. So, you know what? Let me get some watercolor paper and we'll try it out because supposedly it's easy. So if it's easy, let's try it right now. Okay. So I have some watercolor paper here. It just comes from this watercolor, watercolor card sheets from um, Crafters Companion because I have tons of it whenever I order like... Uh, a kit that I already have. I just take everything out with the card bases and stuff like that and I keep it right here next to me so I can use it or remember to use it. So I have a little bit of water here. We have some acrylic blocks because obviously we need to mount the stamps onto something like this. Um, I don't know if this is cold press, 100, it feels not super thick so it's probably right, right around 110, 140 pounds, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so I had watched a video earlier and I'll have the link for um, for this exact set, basically, this exact set that I'm showing you, um, I guess, is the decorator Bonnie Craig? Is it Bonnie? Krebs? They have uh, a few different people, obviously, mom and then daughter works there too and does the videos and stuff like that. So I think it's Kendra is the daughter, yeah. So um, they use certain numbers and I wrote them down because these are the only Tombos I have. Obviously, you can use any marker, you guys, whatever markers you have. It'll do basically about the same, but you want to have that nice brush tip or something that's going to let you put this onto your stamp easily. So again, whatever marker you have, I just wrote down the numbers because I have these two sets and I have some of the colors that they use, but I don't have all of them. So um, I'll be using those as well as I can. Again, it doesn't have to be exactly what they did. It's an art, a little piece of art. You do what you do, whatever colors you have, it's going to look great. I don't have any bright pink, which you know, 
drives me nuts. I love pink, but I do have other pink markers, so maybe I'll decide to throw one of those in. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I do have some uh, bases. I do have little ones from close to my heart that are like one inch square acrylic blocks, which would be really nice, but I can't find one right now. I actually have like 10 of them because of, I used to buy them in packs for the um, kind of get together um, selling portion of it, right? The parties, but I, you know, I'll find them. So I have these two acrylic blocks just so we can mount these things up. So, and then we have our stamps. So all we're gonna do is just get ready. I'm going to do pretty much exactly, well not exactly, I'm gonna try to do kind of what the gal had shown. Like I said, I don't remember, I believe it was Bonnie's video. That's all I do, just pop it out and then mount it. If you have a stamp positioner and you want to use that, that'd be great. If it, Let's say you have a piece of paper and you know I have to cut it exactly here because I'm gonna put this on my card front and I would need it in a certain spot. Use a stamp positioner. You know what's funny, guys? The other day I was looking for... I just wanted to put away my diamond press stuff because um, I have so many different things. I keep them in one drawer. I have a little basket and I'm like, okay, these other ones I want to start another drawer. So I need to clear out a drawer to do that. And I found my stamp positioner. I had been thinking about this thing and I was like, where is that? And yeah, I just came across it in the very bottom drawer of one of my organizers. So this is called a stamp -a jig And what you do is, let's say, you know, you're... A lot of times you want to do some masking and maybe you're going to layer a, a little image on top of another image. You go ahead and just stamp onto your stamp position or, you know, the image on the plastic. And then you put it where you want it because you can't see past the red rubber or the gray rubber very well. And you put this guy here. Now you already have your image. You know that's where you want it. You lift this up and then you come back and stamp your stamp and it will be where you want it. So that's kind of how that works. Um, but right now that's not the biggest deal. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm using this number three brush only because I have it, it's cheap, it's inexpensive, it was sitting here already. Um, I have plenty of water brushes. Uh, Bonnie had said, if you're gonna use a water brush, it's just is too wet because the water just kind of continually, even if you don't squeeze it, it wants to come out. But you can still use it. Just don't put water in the reservoir. Okay, so if you have these guys, maybe I'll end up using this. I don't know, this one's very fine. Um, I don't know what the number on this, but I have a ton of Vicky Button uh, or Booten. Uh, <laughs> brushes so i'm gonna use this number three just because i saw it sitting here and i thought that's a probably a good size but a six is good maybe a one if you have really something very fine i'm gonna go through my colors and just pick them out and i'll be so right I back pick out some colors but um you know some of them like i said i had that matched the numbers that she had chosen but some of these are different i still need something else i don't know what it's probably the pink color um that she used and I don't have here and I think a purple so i'll have to pick those out but for right now i'm using 879 which is the brown 177 for my green, 565 for the blue, 885 for the red, and 925 for the orange. Again, I hate to, you know, really give out those numbers because people are going to feel like they have to have those. You do not. Just use any colors. I mean, it's like orangey, a red, blue, brown, and a green, right? So we're going to start with the blue and the brown. So she did a little trick, and I want to try it. You take your marker, obviously the brush side, and I'll get a little bit closer. And she put down brown and just... You're, these are detail stamps if you're thinking about the way local king looks at them they're detail stamps right so these are outline stamps like any other mostly any other um stamp so she did brown and i thought okay that's interesting and then she went ahead and came with the blue and i was like hmm that's different so go ahead and go in with the blue and she was mentioning that basically that's how you get more depth a lot of times you do the one color and it's just kind of flat i guess so i am using the uh um side of the watercolor paper that's a little bit, uh, what's the word? Um, see, it's crooked. Um, <laughs> that's a little bit uh, textured, right? On the other side, it's flat. Um, I did stamp it a little crooked, so maybe when I cut this out, I'm gonna have to do something. But again, that's why you use your stamp positioner. Let me see if this still has paint, ink on it. So let's say I knew where I, you know, I put this on my corner here, I stamped this Nope, I have to put it in the corner, right? Isn't that how that works? You put it in the corner, so now I know where it is, and I can kind of see what I'm doing, right? It's that it, faint image. And so when I have it where I want it, I would then put this back. Obviously, things are moving around here. Put this back, move this away, and now stamp it again, and you're going to have it exactly where you want it. But I did not do that, and that's the result. You know what? I'm going to use this as my palette. <laughs> we have this plastic. You can use acetate or any packaging, you know, if you don't have something special for the palette right now. So what I'm gonna do is put down some of this blue because we're gonna dip into blue because that's the color of this little pot. And I'm just gonna dip into my water and then pinch it 
and Sarah, you know, from Crafters Companion gives those same tips. She kind of puts it on the back of her hand. But what you're going to do is just come in and pull some color out of your little image. And I don't know if you can see that it's already coming out here. I'm just kind of wiggling my brush. I don't know how else to get the color <laughs> to come out. And you can move your paper however you need. I don't know if you can kind of see the blue and the brown coming out and it's really lovely. I feel like it's a little bit dry, but it's better to be dry and bring it out a little more than to be too wet and just obliterate your lines, you know, or just make a kind of a mess. So I'm going to bring in and the other thing Bonnie always says and, you know, her daughter there on these videos or anybody will tell you is to leave a highlight in the middle, right? We know that from Crafters Companion too. This is cute already. Like to me, I would stop here because I thought, ooh, that's good. I didn't mess it up. It looks pretty good. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pull out some more color here. And just a little more. Just kind of bring it out. Leaving this area kind of white. So now this is the scary part for me. I'm going to dip in here and get some of this blue. And start at the edges because that's normally where it's darker with your little shadows. Right, we're going to do a little darker and still bring it out. You guys, this is... If I can do this, I already told you, <laughs> you guys can do this. For sure. For sure. And I probably, you know, will look at this later and think, Ooh, what was I thinking? I should have done this, this, and this. But for now, we're building up our skills. And I'm just putting in some color. Again, I probably leave a little highlight on that too, because that's kind of rounded itself, right? Get a little more color. I see I'm being a little shy. I'm being very shy with it. I'm sure some other people would just come in and boo, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. But I am super, super shy. Again, starting at the edges and bringing it in. Now for me, this feels good enough, right? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm a beginner. This seems to be just about what I need. Maybe I'll put a little more over here. And so don't be afraid to build up your color, but you definitely don't want to go too heavy and then, you know, when you try to risk it away, it's going to be that much harder. But do you see how I'm still... I probably can bring in a little bit more, be a little more generous here. And then still do a little more dark. Okay. That's pretty much all I want to do because I think that looks good and I feel like I'm going to mess it up if I keep going. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's adorable. So she came right in and got some little decorations. Let me show you. In this same set, there's like these little, well, there's a little bird. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Um, there's like these little decorations. She used this one. There's also this other guy, but I'm going to go ahead and use the one. And I think this is where she stamped it in purple. And I do not have, let me see. Do I even have a purple in here? There is a very, oh, I do. Okay, so I'm just going to use that purple. You can go back in with the blue. Then it would look really nice too. And she might have done that. I don't know. I feel like it was purple. But I'm just going to take this purple. This one is number 679. So those stamp sets that I'm sh using are... I got them on Amazon. They're just uh, the basic palette and secondary, I think. It says basic color and secondary. Primary color, secondary color. So again, just getting that going. And... What I'm going to do is put it right here and put it as straight as I can so I can kind of see through this, right? I kind of have an idea. It might be crooked when I stamp this, but I'm just going to go for it. Cute. And so the other thing she says is do not like really push down like we normally do with our stamping, right? We're like getting it in there. She says just kind of a little kiss, right? Boom. Well, I don't think she said a kiss. I'm saying a kiss, <laughs> but just a little something. We're going to come back and mess with that later. Okay. So next thing, she used filler. So we're using the uh, foliage set that's in here is 4051. They have tons of foliage sets. I don't know how you differentiate, but I just, like I said, I got the pack because I figured I want a very basic pack here, this set. And so I'm gonna use the same one she used, which is this viney looking one. See this one here? And her other tip, and you know what, to be honest, I wish I had my little tiny square. This is kind of bulky to work with, but that's okay. Her other tip is to don't have to color in the whole thing. That's why you're using a marker. Like, if you don't want to use this whole vine because it's kind of long, right? Just color in the very tip. And then when she stamps, these are so delicate. Uh, when she stamps, she just does 
like a group of five. So you come in here, I uh, see, I don't know where this has ended because I'm not, you know, brilliant here, but one, two, three, four, five. So just walk it over. See, I'm missing that whole section, but not too bad. So I'm gonna do it again. And again, if I had a smaller thing, that'd be better. So again, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, not bad. And then she did some on the other side. And I keep saying she, cause I'm, I'm just gonna do, obviously I've never done this before really. So I want to uh, tell you guys where I got the information from. So this is about all I'm gonna do. I think that's okay. See that green? Okay. So get your brush again, clean off the tip and just kind of come in and just wet this a little bit. And it really will make it pop. So like where you think like there's nothing, you know, these other little areas where you did one, two, three, four, five, nothing really, it looks very plain or like faint. But once you put some water on it, it just wakes up. I don't know if you can see that. So again, you guys, I am loving this. <laughs> I can tell you right now, this is a lot of fun. And then she kind of brought it in. She would, you know, obviously wet these little areas. I think I probably need to put a little more down here, but we can just fill that in with green later. Um, and she kind of brings it out here and she'll even put some little dots of green here and there, like out here. Why? I don't know. But if she's doing it, I'm doing it. All right, here we go. Add a little more color. So what happens is you can do all your stamping and come in and wet, but you probably don't want to do that. You probably want to do it layers at a time like I'm doing um, because it's going to dry, right? You're not trying to get, oh, I just stamped. I need to wet this now. No, because it's just markers so they're they're waiting there for you to manipulate them it's not a big deal okay so okay i'm gonna stay with that and think that's good for now we are going to use this set again in just a minute so i'm gonna leave this open into the side here and now the fun stuff flowers i might be forgetting a step or two but you know what it's my creation you can do whatever you want uh so from this one i know she used a little posy looking flowers why is this stuck hold on Okay. Oh, it was really long. Um, I'm going to use this little guy. So this one in this set is called Flower Set 4052. It's this little flowery one. And these are the super basic ones you're going to see that they use all the time. I wish I could find my smaller things. Oh, well. So she, I'm going to take my orange. And again, I don't know. I just have it oriented this way. I kind of want it this way, though. So what I'm gonna do is one, two, three, four, five. Just kind of walk it around. It looks kind of like, you know, not much. But as you stack them up and keep working, it'll be better. And maybe I'll learn to walk it around a little better too as I work on these. So I'm gonna do a little higher one, two, three, four, five. Like that came way up out of there. And I didn't even mean to do that. And then she put a few. So just to cover a few this time, we don't have to color in all of the flowers, just a few there. And down here, one, two, three, four, five. See, it's barely anything. And then she went into some red. Actually, before I stamp that red, let's go ahead and mess with our little orange ones a little bit. And I'm just bringing some water in. And I don't know that it makes a difference. My hand is just resting here. I'm just, I'm not like, you know, my brush is kind of tilted a little bit. And just kind of softening. You don't have to soften it completely because then you're going to obliterate everything. But just to give the suggestion of the little flowers here and there, right? I may have to do this one again. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So just... Bring in a little water and a little dab, dab, dab here and there. What do you guys think? We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. I think the last thing she did before she moved on from the flowers was to make some of these long stem ones. And that's the one that scares me because let's see what happens. This guy. And they were just kind of sticking up. So you think, okay, because you know, right now we're kind of working on it and but they were just sticking up out there. So let's get our brown. 
I mean, you can color this stick any color you want, and you can color it as high or as low as you want. I only went like halfway down on that. I'm gonna take that same purple we've been using and color in the little flowers. And this again, you're just gonna take and do the same thing. So like one, two, three, four, five. Weird, right? Because you just kind of put it there and it doesn't look like too much. But let's get that water on it. And again, mine is different from hers, I believe the purple, obviously. So I think for a first time, this is a pretty good go. Just kind of running down that little brown stem a little bit. Because it's just a little something kind of popped in there. A little hint of something. Cute. Okay. Now we need our grass back again. Or we're going to use the grass. I'm going to use this little guy. I don't remember if she's the tall one or the short one. But, you know, again, it's your thing. They're all going to be different. Our colors and everything. So I'm definitely going to look for my little one inch blocks and I'm definitely going to need them all. <laughs> They're probably in my kit over here from when I used to, like I said, sell my, sell my wares. All right. So green grass facing up. And again, what we're going to do is just kind of one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's so cute and tiny. I think she probably used the longer one because this one seems very short. One, two, three, four, five. And again, put it wherever you like. You guys, this is a lot of fun. One, two, three, four, five. I'm bringing them out the other way. Maybe I need to get closer to the pot, right? I just don't know how to. I'm learning, I'm learning. One, two, three, four, five. That's cute. Okay. So then you get your brush. Dip it in your water. And then this one, she said, this is the only one that really requires a stroke. So I've been watching tons of videos in pre preparation for this stuff to come in. <laughs> okay, guys. So again, just kind of pull out the strokes there. And you can pull some color out this way. You don't want to obliterate your lines. So just pull out a little bit and a little bit this way. I think for my first time, this isn't bad. I'm going to get some of that blue. Kind of put some shadow the only thing is this is my, my okay if this is supposed to be light to make it look round and you're putting shadow this way doesn't that mean the light is coming from behind it shouldn't the shadow be that way that's why i'm not good at this stuff but that's what i know so they were doing i'm like okay i'll just do what they do but um you know so we're almost done here i'm gonna take some more of this blue and just uh put it around the edge kind of like i did with the butterfly the other day if you watch that video just to kind of ground this a little bit. And that one I kind of left watery, but that's, you know, how I'm doing it. And you don't really want to touch the lines too much because obviously you don't, you can drag out some color from it and it looks nice, but not too, too much. And I'm just wiggling this brush around with some of that blue. Quite a bit of water. I mean, that's how I'm doing it. So do whatever you like, obviously. And hold on, there was something else. Yes, there was something else she did. She took these little guys <laughs> from that one kit. Now all this is water-based, so you can just wipe it off with a wet towel and you're, you're good to go. They're clean. I don't want to pick at them like that, guys. You don't want to separate your clean from your mount there. But let me put this little guy back. So these little guys look like they look like little pebbles. I guess you use them for different reasons, right? They look like little pebbles. But she had also said in another video I saw a long time ago that you don't want to just, um, like, color this in and then use it in this way because it's boring, right? Well, and also just, you know, go one, two, three. Like, it's not that nice. So, again, let's just color them in. You don't have to color it all in, just whatever you like. And she put it down here to make it look like little wildflowers. So, um, kind of near the grass. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that, so cute. I'm telling you guys, if I can do it, you can do it. And again, get your little water brush or your brush dip in water and just kind of give a little, little dab here and there. 
And I do recall the last thing she did here was on this. Now this is very pretty. I would love to just leave it that way, but she kind of came in and just wet them a little bit. I guess for the color to pop a little bit. I don't know if you can see that the color does come right out once you wet it. And I'm just doing these little guys. Just a little something. Now if I'm forgetting anything, I'm sure I am, but there it is. Really pretty. And then, let me see. I only have zig markers and I don't know if this is the best thing to use, but she says, you know, come in and just add a little detail, kind of. And she put little dots in these areas. You know, I don't know. And just to make it pop a little bit, but I think I'm good <laughs> before I do too much and mess this up. Oh, and sign and date it. So I don't know, but that's usually how I sign my name. And it's 2020. The year of our Lord 2020. Check it out. That's really fun. I might add some more blue just to finish this up because if I was going to use this as a focal point on something. But guys, if I can do it, you can do it. I promise. I mean, you saw. <laughs> What I just did. So I think it was good for our first outing and uh, thanks for watching guys. Again, um, take advantage of their discount code right now, that GLMM2020 for 20% off your purchase. And um, I'll have links in the description box. Um, I'll try to put them in for these watercolor sets if you're interested in that. And um, I'll see you guys the next one. Thanks so much. Bye now. Mm -hmm.